So one of the greatest challenges uh, facing our nation is how to remove large quantities of algae uh, from large water bodies. Can you do it efficiently in a scalable manner? And there's technology out there for, for doing the work at small scale, but when it comes to things like managing the waste at large scale, uh, we're doing a lot of pioneering uh, R&D uh, to, to create new capabilities there. So Erdic uh, was brought into this and consulted uh, about large harmful algal blooms and how we develop scalable approaches. Primarily due to we have a lot of expertise in high throughput water purification. We develop uh, water treatment technologies for the Army. So that's a key piece if you want to have some sort of responsive capability to mitigate the blooms once they've been established. A big part of what we're doing out here is developing a new capability to deal with the waste concentrated algae once it's removed from the water. Because the algae can produce toxins, that's a real uh, challenge uh, in that you could have large quantities of biomass that have potential toxicity associated with them. Uh, so how do you manage that? It becomes really uh, more of a hazardous waste at that point. And so we're developing capability to transform that biomass into useful products like BioCrude, uh, which can be upgraded to useful fuels, uh, as well as uh, things like uh, nutrients-rich uh, solutions that could be incorporated into fertilizers and other products. Another key part of what we're doing with the hydrothermal liquefaction process is that it can destroy the microcystin toxin in there. It can be a threat uh, to the environment and to human health. And so having ways to deal with that in, within the algae concentrate uh, that's generated by the removal processes will be a game changer in terms of uh, having an ability to, to manage those wastes. Uh, another big advantage of the hydrothermal liquefaction technology is it's very high throughput. So uh, 15 to 30 minutes uh, for the treatment time uh, compared to conventional technologies that you might use for solid waste management, particularly sustainable ones, that aren't as energy intensive, those might take 15 to 30 days to process a batch uh, of concentrated algae. So we're still fairly early in the research and development. This is our first year working on these technologies uh, and integrating them. We're really excited about the potential, uh, but after our successful demonstration this summer, uh, we're hoping to continue this research next year so we can really hone in on the final designs.